What up, y'all? New York Hillbilly Conservative here. We're going to be covering a couple topics today. Bidenomics and the southern border. Cheers. Okay, so Bidenomics, it's, it's really great. It's working out awesome. So, like, when you go to the gas station and stuff, you get to pay more for the gas because that helps the government... And we need the government so badly, right? Well, not to mention inflation has skyrocketed. Biden just continues to lie. He says, oh, the inflation is down. Yeah, it's down a little bit from where he hiked it up. We got to talk about where it was before he became president. And then is it down? No. Look at the numbers. They don't lie. Inflation rate was whatever it was. I'm not going to get into the specifics, but it's way higher than it was when he started. And yeah, it is down a little bit from where he jacked it way up. That's the trick of the liberals. They'll jack gas up to like five dollars a gallon when it was only two nineteen when they took over in my town, anyways. And they'll jack it up to five dollars. Then they'll bring it down to four twenty five or something. And make it sound like it's a big deal. Ooh, we really helped you out. But at the same time, it's two dollars more than it was when they took office. So I, I really don't understand where they're coming from when they say it. It's down. It's not down. It's just a big lie, one right after another. So Bidenomics is basically Biden's insanity and lies. And frankly, I think he's like a little bit kooky or something. But anyways this is a conservative view if you don't like it feel free to comment on what i got wrong here it's an opinion show so this is my opinion what's yours okay also the jobs this employment numbers the whole unemployment numbers has always been a lie no matter who's been in office that's just people seeking employment it's not all the people that lost their jobs that a lot of them just gave up and all this Bidenomics crap that he's praising himself it's all just a hoax one hoax right after another from the Democrats I guess been a lot of hoaxes against the Republicans including the all the stuff against Trump hoax right after hoax indictment after indictment and Bidenomics will take care of everything I guess There'll be nothing left by the time Bidenomics is done doing its full job. So all you people paying more for gas, paying more for food. It's basically right out of a socialist handbook to control the money, the food supply, and all the cancel culture. That's part of Bidenomics too. If they don't like what you're saying, just cancel it. They, they go after your speech your language, all ways of culture that they don't like. And they control the food supply with all the shipping problems from our great freaking, what's his name there, uh, Buddha Judge. He's supposed to be in charge of all that, and he's off playing games, doing whatever he's doing, going on maternity leave or paternity leave, whatever way you want to call it on that one. And... The Americans that have a job are paying for the rest of the country that doesn't want to work. All the tax dollars, they're just stealing them. So basically, we're sharecroppers at this point. Every dollar we make, they get at least half of it. That's Bidenomics for you. So, that's my opinion. Leave some comments. Tell me what your opinion is. Okay. On to the next thing, the southern border. That's a joke. We got the great Alejandro Mayorkas. He's controlling that, right? He's really fucking slick. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Is <laughs> saying the border's closed. The border's closed while we have video of people ransacking the border. And they're crying about these buoys that the Texas government's putting out there to try to control it a little bit because it's affecting them. And... They're saying, uh, oh, that's that's terrible. But 
the southern border is not closed. It's wide open. So you got these people like legitimately want to come to our country, but they got to jump through so many hoops just to get on a plane, get a passport, come here. It's, it's a joke. So like if you really want to come to this country, take a freaking plane from some other country in the South America somewhere where they don't give a shit. Get in the caravan with the motherfuckers and just walk over the border or swim over the border or whatever means you feel necessary to get here. It's way easier. And they'll give you a free phone and give you some money, put you in a hotel. And even from my state, New York, now the the governor of New York City or the mayor, whatever the hell he is, he's crying because there's too many of them now. So... Why is it okay for Texas to take them all? And New York doesn't want to. He's crying out for federal help now. And before he was like, oh, we're a sanctuary city. Yeah, everything's sanctuary until it's killed. And there's no money left. And all the people paying for the shit move the hell out because they're sick of paying for it. And go to a state where there's not all that crap going on. It's just ridiculous. And... The one big mistake the liberals are making with all the South American immigrants coming in, they're thinking, ooh, everyone we let in, that's another Democratic vote because we basically paid them to come here by giving them phones, health care, path to citizenship, give them a place to stay for free, welfare, Medicaid. They're basically getting paid to come here, so they'll vote. But the big joke is going to be on them in the end because all... The Hispanic people are Catholics and they're anti-abortion and they're against almost every liberal view. So when they go to vote, they're going to just take the money and run and they're going to vote re Republican because that better suits their values from the church. And the left is getting rid of the church. You can't beat the church out of Latino people. It's been in them since the beginning of time and they're never going to give up on Jesus so good luck with that Dems peace out